Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button for notifications. Today we are going to discuss about staining. Before going to the staining techniques, we have to fix the specimens. First step is the fixation process. Fixation means it is the process by which the internal and external structures of specimens are preserved and fixed in position. Why should we fix the specimens? It helps to inactivate enzymes that disrupt cell morphology and also helps to toughen the cell structures. For that purpose, we have to fix the specimens before observation through microscopes. It helps to retain the stain easily and accurately at desired position of the specimen. There are two different methods are there. The first one is heat fixation and the second one is known as chemical fixation. What is heat fixation? How to perform the heat fixation process? Heat fixation means it is used to observe bacteria and RK bacteria. Here smear is generally heated. It helps to inactivate enzymes and preserves morphology. It destroys proteins in subcellular structures thus distort the appearance that is the peculiarity of heat fixation heat fixation is employed in the case of bacteria and rk bacteria next step is chemical fixation what is chemical fixation it is often used to observe large and delicate microorganisms like protist chemical fixation is used in the case of protist heat fixation is normally used in the case of bacteria and archaebacteria archaebacteria means ancient bacteria chemical preservatives penetrate cells and inactivate proteins and lipids inside the cell examples are ethanol chemical fixatives examples are ethanol acetic acid mercuric chloride formaldehyde and glutaraldehyde these chemicals are used as chemical fixatives dyes used we need dyes to observe microorganisms on other cell bodies using microscopes dyes should have two features in common dyes have chromophore groups it imparts coloration first feature is these are chemical moieties with conjugated double bonds that give the dye its color and second feature is they bind cells by ionic covalent or hydrophobic bonds according to the ionizable properties the dyes are classified into two a basic dyes example methylene blue basic fusion crystal violet saffronin malachite green it is very important characteristics basic dyes have positively charged groups binds to negatively charged molecules such as nucleic acids proteins and surface of bacterial and archaebacterial cells that is a peculiarity of basic dyes it has positively charged which among the following is uh, positively charged dyes basic dyes basic dyes are positively charged and examples are methylene blue basic fusion crystal violet saffronin and malachite green malachite green is used in spore staining ionizable dyes acidic dyes example eosin rose bengal and acidic fusion possess groups such as carboxyl and phenolic hydroxyls characteristics in ionized form they have negatively charged and bind to positively charged cell structures acidic dyes are negatively charged ones and examples are eosin rose bengal acid fusion 
and one more types of dyes are there they, that are known as neutral dyes example jimsa stain eosinate of methylene blue carries both positive and negative charges neutral dye is the peculiarities it contains positive and negative charges stains usually it stains nucleic acids and cytoplasm it stains nucleic acids and cytoplasm jimsa stain discovered by gustav jimsa it is very important used for demonstration of malarial parasites in blood it is widely used for the routine examination of blood smear types of staining techniques there are two methods simple staining and differential staining are there first one simple staining we are going to discuss about simple staining today here only single stain is used it is used for visualization of morphological shape and arrangement of cells or bacteria simple staining a single dye is used and cells are stained fixed smear is covered with stain for a short time and excess stain is washed off with water here slide is blotted dry and basic dyes such as crystal violet methylene blue and cardboard fusion are frequently used in right side you can see the simple stained slide this this is a picture of simple staining negative staining a single dye is used this is also a simple staining technique and only one dye is used a single dye is used but here unstained cells appear as bright object against a dark background here background is dark and the cells appear bright in color here negrosin and indian ink are used thank you if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click the bell button for notifications